Today we're in the dyno room and we're going to tune this 2006 Mini Cooper S JCW. We've got the full access software loaded on its ECU already, which will allow us to change the fueling and the timing and the RPM limits and stuff like that. So the first thing we're going to do is get a baseline pull on it, see where the car is, where the AFRs are, and then we'll be able to start tuning. AFR is air fuel ratio, and we measure all that out of the tailpipe with a wideband O2 sensor. What I'm doing here is I'm setting up the run template for this particular Mini Cooper on our dyno. So I put in black JCW cab because it's a convertible, and then I set up the engine and other parameters. Then I go over here to the test data, and I have speed, RPM for the dyno and the car, AFR, and some other stuff, and it's gonna graph it for me, and then I'll be able to know what the car's doing, and I'll be able to use that information to change parameters in the ECU to make more power uh, on the engine. baseline dyno, we always do three pulls. On a Mini Cooper, the first one's going to be really good because the supercharger heat soaks on some sequential pulls, and what that does is it causes the car to lose power. It's not anything wrong with the car, it just gets hot. That's what the intercooler's for and that kind of stuff, but it's still going to be down on power. So this is, so the second and third pull are more representative of what the car does on the road. So what we've got here is the second pull. We made 164.3 horsepower at peak. And as you can see, the real issue is this car is running extremely rich. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this AFR line up to best power should be between 12 and 12.5 AFR. And as we move that line up, then the horsepower should increase. We'll also get a nice increase in torque as we so do So what that. I've done is I've manipulated the fuel map and taken some fuel out of it. And now I'm going to push that back into the ECU. And of course it broke. Now, while you're flashing the ECU, make sure your computer does not come unhooked or the ignition does not get turned off. If, you, if something like that happens, it can be a real pain to get it back because it will wipe the memory. So now you just follow the instructions. It says turn off the ignition and press OK. So now we're good to go. We're going to verify that the car starts. And it does. So we're going to do some more pulls, see what kind of changes, how that affected the AFR, and then we'll keep on tuning. We've made some, I've made some tuning adjustments to the fuel curve, and as you can see, we picked up significantly on the horsepower. We're now making 186.8, and that's on the second pull on a hot car. So you can honestly see we've made some more power. We've also made some torque, and as you can see, the line is still rich. The one thing you want to remember about a Mini is that a, these Mini Coopers don't have extremely good fuel distribution on the intake side, so we want to make sure we leave it a little bit rich so that we don't have any issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to end it at about 11.0 and that'll be very safe tune for him, but it'll be a lot faster than it was. We finished up the tuning and we ended at 207. We put the new spark plugs in. We picked up about two horsepower. It came in at 198.9. 
and I tweaked it a little bit more and got it up to 207 on a hot car which is solid power for this machine so we're gonna unstrap it take it down the road make sure everything's good on the street and then he'll be ready to take it home